Well, welcome back to the channel. Today we're off at Retro Rise 2023, and as you can see, there's already some absolutely amazing cars. <laughs> Thanks very much. Take care. Stratos. That thing's insane. Yeah. <laughs> it's a similar sort of thing when you um, get out of my car. Just a little bit less effort. <laughs> There's a nice bright yellow um, Dodge Viper over here. Let's have a quick look at this Dodge Viper while we're over here. Spiddly bits to do. They've all got to be 100% done and ready before we do this. They're putting Le Mans winning drivers in. And he's running gas. Jesus. All to perfection. And uh, scream a pipe up on the bonnet as well. Let's check out some classic. What's this? Datsun, maybe? It's a crown. Well, I've never seen a crown like that before. Classic crown. Ooh, with a glitter steering wheel. Sparkler! <laughs> Patina Toyota. But I'm loving this Datsun. This is a thing of beauty. Beautiful, beautiful car. Oh, I didn't even know that. So I've owned two Bluebirds. This is a Bluebird. Never owned one like this. Okay, so we're in, and you can see there's loads of people lining up there to go and do what looks like a slalom course. And um, then you've got a few cars here, this old Ford over here which doesn't look like it's ever been touched. Let's do another one. Very cool, more of a hot rod version. Nice MX-5, couple of MX-5, one on the air. There's a race liveried 850 Volvo estate there. Would have been original touring car colors. Mark II Mondeo. I've owned one of them. See, I, I want to own one of these. I really like these. Stager. And stick the skyline front end on it. Really, really nice. Oh, I didn't quite notice the uh, GTS that next to it. Four door skyline. It's a. Uh, Seen a little bit of drift action from the look of it. This is lovely Alfa Romeo. And I ask myself to please stop. Take a breath, need to get all of these deep thoughts out my head. Yeah, I just want to be known. I just want to be home. Feel like I'm all alone. Another Rocco next to a CRX. Well, that's uh, a little bit wider than normal, isn't it? <laughs> it's another one of these cars with a drawing all over it. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of the rage at the moment. But then you've got this Mark 1 Sierra Cosworth right next to it. Another NSX here. Oh, I get to see. This is an NSX. Yeah, look at the 
Hello, mate. How you doing? How are you? Finally get to see you. Yeah, and we let down our guards. Yeah, we can open up our hearts and figure out how to heal our stars. Old AX over there. A slammed. Oh my god. So, not only is this a slammed jag, look at where the exhaust is. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that's really quiet. <laughs> XJR down on bags with a bloody great big center exit exhaust. There's a rat rod and then there's that. Hopefully it's got some great big engine in it because it's all stripped out. He's got a side exit. Yeah, I noticed that he's got an intercooler down there, so I'm hoping it's, it's running some stupid power. Very clean Capri. Nice Alpha. Next is ginormous. Again, I have no idea what it is. A Pontiac. It's a very long walk. A long time later, I got to the back of the car. Go and, sorry, go and smell the car. It sounds silly, but just stick your head in it. And straight away, it's 1950s. You smell it. Oh, we've seen this car loads of times before. It's an insane build. Lovely Carmen gear. There's something you don't see nowadays. Look how far the stub pattern is in the Carmen gear. It's like the old uh, Beatles. What's that? This is a Capri. Believe it or not. That's the original. 200 SX, MX5, next to an XR3i and an RS2000. Oh, then a Mark III Supra and an Escort Cosworth and an LP850. Wow. That, I thought the lineup before was nice, but. Insane cars. I need a bigger vocabulary. Nice 205 next to what looks like a Lotus Cortina running a Cosworth lump. Turbo Cosworth lump. Well, very cool interior. I like that. That's very, very smart. <laughs> and then you come over this side and you can just see the core there. Next is Grinding Up with Monster Truck. <laughs> Insane car. <laughs> and then you can see my girlfriend sat next to this tiny little truck. <laughs> Sat. Well, you might. It looks like you're sitting. <laughs> Mark IV Cabriolet. There's a little tiny Fiat. Oh look, bouncing again. Beautiful car. There's another one behind Low Ride as well. Look, El Camino. But I want to have a look. I'm not a Beamer fan, but I've got to have a look at this. Because, okay, not only is it a little bit low, it's a wide, wide arch kit on it. The size of the dish on the rear. Enormous thing. Look at this thing. Pop of VIP. Look at the rims on it. <laughs> Sentry. Jesus. A turbo XR2? <coughs> no, it's not. It's a turbo Super Sport. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's a Mark 1 Fiesta with a turbo lump in it. I'd have crash helmets on too. Come along. <laughs>
<laughs> you see the interior of this the mix five Floofy! Floofy! Get into a foot on mirrors. And then you've got this wide bodied sprite for the look of it. Yeah, frog eyed sprite. Run in a Nissan engine. SR20 engine. On twin 40s from the look of it. That's filming in. And then you get them through to a little bit of the trade stands over here. You've got a very, very nice Mark II Fiesta here, roll caged out, stripped out, and super, super clean. However, you've got a lovely Mexico next to it. And check out this. It's not a 200 SX, this is that Subaru, that rare Subaru. Can't move the lane yet. These strange windows and it's wide body. That's very, very unique car. How you find a wide body for a rare car, unless it's been built bespoke. You've seen the windows on that, they're like half windows, lovely Sierra state. Super, super clean. You can see they've moved, they've shaved all the engine bay. Wow, that is clean. We've seen this before. I videoed that at a show. I can't remember what show it was. Lovely Mustang. It was BHP, I think. Was it BHP? I think I've seen it at two or three shows, a couple up here as well. I was looking at this earlier, a Prairie. They were awful cars when they were new. <laughs> this, you don't see any of these. I remember when these were brand new, there used to be a dealership in Bognor that did them. And you just don't see them around. I don't think they were very, very popular. Azuzu Piazza, I think it was. I think it's quite a pretty car. But it just wasn't very popular. Honestly, a prairie. Have you seen the uh, mirrors in the prairie? <laughs>